What's up players, today we're going to be diving into a Devin Booker film study. You can see on the left side, we're going to be looking at some finishing keys and some more. But first, I've got free workouts. I do this with almost all of my videos. You can see the free workouts I got here. A Devin Booker scoring workout that's based off this video. A 500 shot workout. And then a full spectrum 370 shot workout. To get yours, just subscribe to my channel. And then take a screenshot of you subscribe to my channel. And then send me a DM at Mason Waters underscore on Instagram. And then I'll send you the workouts. All right. So as we're getting started here, if you look on the left side of the screen, screen we have some finishing keys. So the first is a driving angle, and then it says protection against the second level of defender or second level defender, spacing of teammates, creating position, and high finishes. And then we'll dive into some more mid-range stuff towards the second half of this video. But in this first clip against the Kings, Devin Booker has a simple drive, and the driving angle is straight to the rim. What a lot of players will do is on a move like this, they will take this first dribble and instead of getting downhill in as straight of a line as possible, in other words, this player is trying to go attack the rim in a straight line, a lot of players will take their first dribble towards like the G or they'll take their first dribble towards this teammate here on the wing. They'll take their first dribble out and then start attacking the rim. But on this move right here, he does go off to the side a little bit just to create an angle, but then from right here, he is going straight downhill. And then the second point is protecting the basketball against the second level of defender. So he's gathering the ball here, and you can see this help defender is using their right arm to get into the driving lane to try and poke the basketball out of Devin Booker's hands. But he keeps the basketball strong. He wraps it on both with both hands and and barely extends it away from the defense and then he finishes on the opposite side of the rim and something to notice about his finish too is that he's jumping off of his left foot and he's shooting the ball with his left hand that is a an advanced finish I would say and I'd say it's advanced because not many players practice that so when you're practicing your layups you want to practice jumping off jumping off your left foot and then shooting with your left foot and then the last thing on this clip is the spacing of his teammates you've got three teammates along the perimeter and then you have a fourth teammate who is in the dunker spot right here with their butt their backside to the baseline and they're very very close to the baseline this type of spacing from teammates allows for driving angles and driving lanes to be more available so there's a couple points in that first clip now right here on this one, this is very simple. This is just a high finish. I, I would say 100% of players watching this video, unless Devin Booker stumbles across this video, 100% of players watching this are not gonna be guarded by someone who can jump as high as Aaron Gordon. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, most of you won't. But the skill here that Devin Booker has is a high finish. So he gets his left hand up as high as he can, and you can see the basketball hits the backboard probably two, three inches above and outside of the block of the square on the backboard. M again, most players aren't going to have to shoot this high, but this is a good skill to work on. As you're working on your finishes, instead of just having normal height finishes, go do 10 on the right side and 10 on the left side where you're getting the ball as high as you can just to advance your feel around the rim. All right, so this is a transition finish right here. And when we talk about vision, when most people talk about vision, they talk about passer vision. But guards and forwards and, and centers who don't have the basketball, they also have to have what I call receiver vision. Receiver vision is when you don't have the basketball, but you see a spot where you're going to be open. So Devin Booker right here, he sees that spot. And what he does here is he holds off Schroeder on his back and then when he goes in, like I mentioned a minute ago, he's going to finish jumping off of his left foot and shooting it with his left hand. So again, that's a finish that you need to add to your finishing skill set. All right, this is this. is I'm going to go over the same concepts right here. This looks like a set play on a sideline out of bounds. But Devin Booker right here, he has the receiver vision to see that the left, that the paint right in front of the rim and 
yeah, just right in front of the rim is going to be wide open. And he sees that. The passer sees it. And again, this might have been a set play. But he seals his defender on the high side well. And then he runs into the pass and the passer leads him. And then from there, he's got a two-foot finish where the basketball goes up. You can see right there it's a good shot fake. The defense goes by. He looks back at him. And then he goes straight back up. This right here, this is another finish that players need to be able to do is catch the ball on two feet or off the dribble. But a lot of players, when they go with this first shot fake, they lift their pivot foot and they end up traveling. So practice this move off the dribble or off the catch, off a cut. And when you work, work on this move, make sure that you don't travel. But it's a good move to get the defense by you. All right, my, some similar concepts here on this finish. Notice the spacing here of the teammates and notice the action. So this is a, a drive and lift. And a drive and lift is when you have a post player, or this honestly, this could be any position, a guard, a wing, a post player, kind of in the, the block area. And as the guard up top drives, they are obviously just driving the basketball in. And then that player who started on the block is lifting up to the perimeter. And the idea here is that even though Booker, he makes the right choice because he does have a, a good opportunity to shoot this layup and he, of course he makes it. But the idea here is that if the defender slides over and stops the drive, then you have Frank Kaminsky in this situation. But you have the guy who lifted or the girl who lifted able for a, a kick out pass like on a, on a pivot, get on two feet, pivot, kick it out. And then also the other read would be the corner defender. In the NBA, this corner defender never helps off the three-point shooter because at the NBA they let, rather let up a layup than a corner three. But here you've got the read of this help defender and this help defender. And then the spacing again is you have three offensive players to begin the play outside the perimeter. And by the time he's shooting his layup, you've got five players outside the perimeter. Or sorry, four players. I don't know if I just said four or five. You've got four players outside of the three-point line spacing the floor and by this spacing now you can see this this window to drive right here is wide open and then there like i mentioned a minute ago where he jumped off his left foot and shot it with his left hand here he's jumping off his right foot shooting it with his right hand that's another finish that players need to have all right this one right here is very simple and and in my opinion this is something that players miss out a a lot on because on one hand, players today are taught to space the floor, get outside the three-point line and really space the floor. But what a lot of players miss is just the ability to see if somebody drives and you can get a cut to the rim, take it. Especially middle school and high school players, your your opportunity or your, your field goal percentage around the rim is going to be way higher for most players at the rim than at the three-point line. So just look for those opportunities to cut and finish at the rim. All right, this is, a, this is a quick finish right here. So he's just getting downhill with his left hand, jumping off his left foot, finishing with his right, and he's extending it past that shot blocker. This is a good finish to work on where you're getting that inside hand and you're stretching it out as far as you can and you're getting it high off the glass and you're just releasing it as fast as you can so that it does not get blocked. All right, so on the, we're going to look at some mid-range shots now. We'll, we'll run this one back here. But on the left, you can see mid-range, so we're going to talk about setting up cuts and screens, high release in the paint, creating space, deceleration and balance, ball protection, and then just simple 12 to 15 foot straight jumper. So on this first clip, let's look at how he's setting up his screen. So he's making contact with his defender. He's stepping in towards, this clip right here got cut off early, but he steps in towards his defender, and right as he's cutting off, it's a good screen set, so now we've got an advantage. He catches the ball immediately, and look what he does as he catches the ball. His eyes are on the defense. So he is catching the ball, and he is immediately making a read after this good setup on his cut and good screen. For really good three-point shooters, this would be a pick and pop, and it would be probably be wide open. And also, as he's coming off this screen here, the, I think the bounce pass is immediately available for the big to hit this bounce pass between the two defenders, roll and dunk or roll and finish because because this it was such a good screen, the screener's defender has to step up and contain the ball. But anyway, um, as he's coming off right here, 
you notice this is a this is a very important skill that we've talked about already, but great players have to have. They've got to be able to protect the ball from help defense when they're trying to poke it out. And you can see Devin Booker right here. He's going to have a dribble, and he's going to extend the ball away from this defender right here so that that defender cannot pick the ball out. And then from here, he just gets on balance. You can see right here, he's on balance. His feet are squared to the rim, knees are bent, hips are down. He's going straight up. And then his high release right here, high release in the paint. You know, when you get, when you're on the perimeter, a lot of players have a lower shot release. But once you get closer to the rim, you've got to release the ball higher as you go from the perimeter into mid range and then towards the rim. You got to release the ball higher because there's going to be bigs who are trying to contest it or block your shot. And then this was just the 12 to 15 foot straight jumper that players all ages need to work on. All right, so much of the same right here. This is actually a really good ball handling move, and look how simple it is. It's just a change of speed crossover. And then the skill here that, that players need to work on and add to their game is on the side deceleration. I, I misspelled deceleration. I just noticed that, but I don't care. We'll keep it. So deceleration and balance. But right here, he's got a hard drive, and then he goes one, two, and he's able to decelerate, get on balance, and go straight up and down without, because a lot of players, when they elevate off of a drive, they'll shoot a floater and then they'll just run into a defender and, and commit a charge. But he's able to go straight up and down. Again, he's got a high release point here at about, maybe about 14, 13, 14 feet from the rim. High release point to get it over the big, about 12 to 15 feet out, lands on two feet and makes it. This is a move um, obviously, just a, a basic pick and roll here. He reads the big. The big is playing back, so he pulls up short on the big. He probably could have pulled up for a three, but he decided to attack. But again, the main main point here is just this 12 to foot, 12 to 15 foot jumper with a high release is a move that he has in his skill set. And the more NBA players I study, the more it seems to me that the best scorers have a have one to two really reliable scoring methods inside the foul line and inside the paint from like 10 to 15 feet and for Devin Booker it seems like his is just this 12 to foot 12 to 15 foot high release pull up jumper all right in this clip right here I just wanted to point out how he comes off of this handoff or pitch so it's a pitch it's a good screen and he and he comes off shoulder to shoulder with the screener, so now his defender is behind him. Now this big is caught in a bind. And Devin Booker, the main thing I wanted to point off here is look at his eyes. His eyes are on the big, so as he's coming off, he's reading the big. If this big steps up, then he'll probably pass it off to for a pick and pop or a dive to the rim. If the big stays back, he, he has this floater that he takes right here, um, which he's good at as well. But he's reading the defense, which is the key in that play that I wanted to point out. All right, again, deceleration and balance. So he is, it's in a transition. He's going about 90% of his speed. He's able to decelerate. And even though he moves forward a tad, so you can see he starts his jump with his heels on the foul line and he lands maybe a foot inside the foul line. He's able to do so still without committing a charge because if he jumps two, three feet in front of him or forward with no control, obviously Danny Green is going to take a charge. But Devin Booker is able to decelerate. He's able to get on balance. Again, look at this high release point. He's got a very, very high release point, and he's able to make that basket. Again, that's a move that players need to add to their game. I think on this one right here, I wanted to just point out, this is an advanced move. For most players watching this video, you're probably not ready to... to do a move like this. Some of you watching are, but what I wanted to point out here is just this spin move and then high release that he's able to hit on a fadeaway. You can see here, look how high his release point is. It's it's pretty far up there. I would say, does he make the right play? And maybe, I don't know. But I would also say, look in the short corner here. He's got a teammate wide open because as he's spinning around, Devin Booker is basically double teamed right here. So if you ever find yourself in a situation where you're double teamed, you probably got a teammate who's open that you need to pass it to. But nonetheless, he hits the shot. 
Again, I'm not going to be repetitive on that, but he's got a go-to move that he knows how to hit. Well, oh, yeah, well, let's just go ahead and run it back. He's got a go-to move that he knows how to hit. Right under the foul line, two feet, he's balanced, high release. And my question for players is, what is your go-to finishing move in this area? It can be very simple. It can be a shot fake, draw a foul, or shot fake, get the guy in the air, give and go. It could be, um, you know, it can be a sidestep. It can be a hesitation. Or it could just, a lot of players need to be working on this, where you're just getting on balance, decelerating right here, 12 to 14 feet, and making the basket. All right, last one right here. And this is about his shooting fundamentals. So this is a good play right here. He sets a back screen, and if you want to score, he doesn't set a great back screen, but if you want to score and be a good scorer, set good screens. Because look here, R.J. Barrett's guarding Devin Booker, and R.J. Barrett, just because of the screen and it wasn't even that good, R.J. Barrett gets caught up in the defense, and then DeAndre Ayton also is in the way for R.J. Barrett to recover. But just this back screen, the ability to set a screen and then go into an action is going to get you open shots. But I wanted to focus right here on his on his form. His hand is under the ball right here. His elbow is under the ball. His left hand, you can see right here, his left hand has already come off the ball. And his left hand stays straight up and down while his right hand has a follow through that goes straight at the rim. And then as he lands, he's holding his follow through up and he's landing balance. And also, we can't see his feet perfectly, and we can't see his hips perfectly, but look how his hips and his feet don't twist and turn. They basically stay where they start, so they're pointed, I don't know, we could say maybe his hips are pointed towards the W or the Y, maybe somewhere in there. But as he goes up, his hips are pointed here, and then as he finishes, his hips turn just barely to where you can barely even notice it. So as you're shooting the ball, work on keeping your hips and your feet uh, pointed to where they began at without twisting. All right, thanks for watching this video. Again, if you want these free shooting workouts, these free scoring workouts, all you've got to do is follow these instructions right here. I hope you all found it helpful. Hope everybody has a great Christmas, has a great holiday break, and we'll see you for part two of the Devin Booker film study coming soon. Mm-hmm.